Pum, pum. This is, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing beatbox. Sorry, you there. I'm Álvaro García, and this is Real Time Mayhem. Today I want to share with you an announcement that is always exciting, right? At least it is for me. So, to put you in context, in the last few weeks I was thinking to create a new kind of format rather than just classic tutorials or live streamings, something that is new or I didn't see so much in the past and I missed when I was studying VFX and 3D animation and it's seeing a project from the very beginning to the very end. And when I say the beginning, I mean the very first line of a screenplay, storyboard or concept art to the final pixel, the final shot or the final movie, trailer, pilot. It doesn't matter, but at least you can see all the processes and all the creative decisions, the goods and the bads that any project has in the very end. So I decided to create a project from scratch. And that is what is all this about, an open real-time project called Nuberu based in the Asturian mythology and all the stories that uh, when I was a kid I heard from this region of Spain that my father was. So I'm very excited to share with you this because I think it's a nice way of learning not just about how to use Unreal Engine, Blender, Houdini, you name the software, but more how a project that starts as something very very small starts to grow in an organic way attracting talent and attracting really amazing artists is what I did in the city of Juna, is what I did in Sumer, is what I'm doing with CRISPR-10 and it's what I want to do now with Nuberu but completely open and when I say open I just don't mean sharing you all the processes and maybe reviews with different uh, artists but also open that we don't know where this is gonna end maybe this is just a trailer, maybe it's a pilot, maybe it's a full-length feature film Maybe it's a book, who knows? But at least it's important to share with you all the ups and downs that any project has because I think we always see the behind the scenes from many companies. Um, it's, most of the cases is just marketing, it's PR, it's always sexy, it's always cool, but it's not always that cool. And it's important to break those myths and see how, you know, it's not always as you have in your head. Otherwise, you are going to always end with disappointment. I want to prevent that disappointment to tell you, hey, this is not an easy path. You are going to see how I'm going to fail. You are going to see how I'm going to succeed when it's the moment to succeed. So I think this honest point of view can be more useful than any tutorial because at the end of the day, my technical knowledge is way more limited than most of the geniuses that are on YouTube for Google. So I prefer to share with you how I built a project and I grow a project trying to glue all the different elements in something that starts to grow by its own. At the end of the day, a project is something that maybe starts from one idea, but at some point you have to leave it, to leave it with its own life. It's not your project anymore, it's the project of many people. So the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna do both normal videos where you are going to see some processes. It could be art, it could be screenplay, it could be uh, rigging, modeling, world building, shot building. But also I'm going to do live sessions where I'm going to share with you updates while I work and chat and experiment and deciding about shots and deciding about how the trailer should work. Maybe the music I need to pick up, research about this, this idea, research about camera angles, lenses, uh, discuss and debate and finding solutions for problems that any project has. The reason I decided to talk about Asturias and its mythology is because my father was for there and it's something I feel quite emotional and connected with. Um, if you want to write about something, you can write about something you don't know, but obviously you feel more connected about that. And it's easier to explain something that you feel more comfortable with. So. You know, when you are a kid and you are in this kind of long summer nights and you have the classic, uh, you know, uncle or, or cousin or uh, brother or sister that always tells you stories about, you know, scary creatures and monsters and creatures in the night 
at the end of the day they are just made to try to make the kids to behave better and go to bed in the moment they should go to bed but it's always that it's in our heads even when we grow almost like freudian uh, feeling like we never overcome this kind of fears and i like that so this is a, i'm already sharing with you some of the creative process i'm doing is setting the theme and tone of what I want to do. It's something quite important that you need to think just to keep everything in the same line. Just if you are doing horror, you need to decide what is the tone of the horror. It's going to be explicit. It's going to be quite uh, based in tension. It's going to be thriller because you need to keep a line of, you know, to be consistent. If you do this kind of changes, your project loses consistency. So just to share with you, this project is going to be more about mixing the idea of something based in the Middle Age, like could be The Witcher, Game of Thrones, all these stories that are based at the end of the, at the, end of the day in Scotland, in Poland, but something based in my land, which is Asturias, in a tone that is um, dark indeed, but not explicit. It's more based in all the fears in these towns in the middle of the mountains about someone that kidnaps kids in the middle of the night that is a monster, is a creature. And we got a lot of creatures in the Asturian mythology. We got el cuelebre, we got el buscoso, we got uh, las hadas, we got um, Nuberu, which is the name of the project, and at the same time is the god of the weather, the equivalent to Zeus. But also we got that in a pre-Roman uh, time. So at the other day, as you can imagine, uh, it's a very rich culture and it's something I want to share because I think you are going to love it and it's not very well known. It's this kind of culture that they are completely shadowed by uh, the Viking cultures and Celtic culture, which everyone knows, right? But we got in Asturias these very unique um, uh, stories and tales that I want to share with you. And I want you to be part of this because I think you are going to like it and if, by the way if you like it you can press like and you can subscribe and you can ring the bell and if you want to support our artists and myself i got a patreon i'm not gonna ask you for money because i'm gonna do this no matter what money or not but obviously you feel confident like oh i want to support this you can support me with this as well so this is the project i hope to see you around i'm gonna start labeling the project with you know uh, open project nuberu uh, number one, two, three, four, five. We are gonna do like weekly updates. It's gonna be in this channel and I think you are gonna love it. Take care. Don't kiss each other too much. And if you kiss someone, remember that it's someone that you know or hug from the distance. That's another advice I'm gonna give you. Take care and elbow goodbye.